Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the show. And today I got a story for you, man. You can tell by the title, you already know what's going on. So, before we hop into this video and this good story, because this is a real talk story, you feel me? Before we hop into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to watch all of my stories, hear all of what's going on in my life, and stay up to date on all of the fashion, food, and fun that I have on my channel, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on that. And hit that like button if you like hearing my stories and you like what I'm talking about in these stories, you feel me? So, let's hop right into it, yeah. So, man, as you can see from the title of it, we got free head. And that's exactly what happened, man. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take it back to the beginning, man. I right, boom. 2011, I had moved up to Baltimore. You know what I mean? I was still living in Memphis. So, you know what I mean? Um... Uh, well, no, I actually wasn't even living in Memphis at the time. I actually was living in Whiteville, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Blackville. Y'all know what's going on up there. Uh, I used to come down to Memphis. I used to work in Memphis. You feel me? It's an hour away, but I was making good money. And I was doing my other little side hustles or whatever. So I ain't, I wasn't really, I wasn't really worried about it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I, I hit, I hit the slab, come on to Memphis or whatever. So I would come into Memphis. So this weekend, my partner, you know, when I come to Memphis, when I did come, because I worked part time. You know what I mean? So I always, it, it went a lot. You know what I mean? I come to Memphis, I handle business. So when I did come to Memphis, I handle business. So I hit my partner up. I was like, man, I'm coming to Memphis. You know what I'm saying? You know, what you want to do? He was like, man, bro, I'm going to get a hotel room this weekend. You know what I mean? He was living with his, uh, he was living with his, uh, uh, uh he was living at his granddad. He was living at his grandma's house with his grandma and his uncle. You feel me? So he ain't want to be there the weekend. So on the weekend, sometimes he'd get him a little hotel room. Nothing big and extravagant. You know what I'm saying? Just a little song because he ain't feel like being at the house with his folks. You feel me? We was still kind of young. You know what I'm saying? I was probably like, my, what, I was about 22. You know what I'm saying? 20, like 21, 22. And he was younger than me. You know what I mean? So he was probably about 19 or 20. So he ain't feel like being there the weekend or whatever. So he had got him a hotel room. You feel me? So, bro, he get to her tail or whatever. He was like, man, bro, you know, you just come through, holler at me. So, I always been a gamer. That's my thing. I've been a gamer ever since I was a kid. So, I was like, bro, I'm going to bring my game system through. We can play the game, you know what I'm saying, before we go out, figure out what we're going to do or whatever. He was like, all right, bet. So, I grabbed my Dreamcast from the hacker. That's, that's like one of my favorite game systems ever. You know what I mean? I'll make another video about... Uh, why that's my favorite game system and things like that. But anyway, I grabbed my Dreamcast, grabbed a couple of my favorite games, put them in my backpack, boom, I shoot on to Memphis. So I get to Memphis, go to the hotel room, meet up, meet up with him, you know what I'm saying? So we at the hotel room, you know, back then, I was a little smoke, a little drink, whatever, you feel me? So we went got straight. You know what I'm saying? We, we got straight, you feel me? So we good. We come back to the hotel. It's it nighttime around that time. You feel me? It's just me and him. Just me and him. Because usually, you know, we get full of, then, boom, we go downtown Memphis, Beer Street. You know what I mean? We'll go down there to Beer Street or whatever. We chilling, we relaxing down there, hollering at girls or how we wanted to do it then. You feel me? So we at the hotel room, we playing, we, we just hooked up the game, I'm talking, we just hooked it up, cause at first we, we, we getting, we getting on our level, you feel me, we, ah, 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 we getting on our level, you feel me, so, you know what I'm saying, I go ahead and hook up the game and shit, you know what I'm saying, we getting ready to change, shit. we ain't even change yet, I bullshit you not, we ain't even change yet, we finna get ready to do all this, probably about 930, we ain't popping out till about, you know what I'm saying, about 11, you feel me? Because be one gonna close till about 2 or 3. As long as you hit the club, you ain't leaving that junk till about 4 for real. 3 or 4. So, you know what I'm saying, we weren't gonna pop out till at least about 11. So, about 9.30 or whatever, we we, we, we we getting on our level, we hook up the game. So, you know what I mean, I had went down, I had left, I think I left a certain game in a car or something. All I know, I had to go outside for something. So, I go outside, but we young, so you know, you know how young folks do, we do everything wild, you know what I'm saying, at least my culture, where I'm from, we do stuff wild when we young, so we coming out the hotel room, we got the music loud, smoke coming out, man, you know what I'm saying, we walking out, looking crazy and stuff, you know, we got the door wide open, looking all down the aisle and stuff like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, just young, you know what I'm saying, so I run down there, I see this 
thick-head chick walked by, I'm like, damn. I'm just looking like, damn. So I grab, I grab when I'm grab about the car, I'm walking back up the stairs and stuff. She's standing just on the balcony, you know what I mean? You know how, you know how like them, I call them uh, them California style because it remind me of Friday after next when they were living in them apartment. But you know them hotels that be like they got the little balcony. So she on the balcony just leaning thick as hell. Whole time she thick as hell. So I'm like, damn, she thick as hell. So I'm like, hey, what's up? How you doing? She like, hey. That's it, you know what I'm saying? She's like, hey. I'm like, all right, damn, she okay? So I go in, I tell my nigga, I'm like, bro, it's a dickhead chick out here, bro, go look. So he he go to the door, he, first he pick out the blind, I said, nah, bro, you got to open the door because she on the side. So he open the door, he look, he like, man, bro, I don't see nobody. Oh, what you talking about, bro? I'm like, bro, it was a dick chick out there, bro. I swear to God on everything. He was like, bro, no, bro, I don't see nothing. I open the door, I look, I don't see nobody. She gone. I'm like, Damn, that ugly right there. So I, I'm like, whatever, forget it, you know, whatever. She probably went to her room. So, boom, my, I promise, about two, three minutes later, two, three minutes past, I pop the game in, we get to playing the game. Oh, we hear somebody, we hear knock on the door. I'm so paranoid, my, I grabbed the strap. I grabbed the strap, I go on the side of the bed, like, oh, shit, bro, who did it? Who you got pulling up? He like, man, bro, I ain't got nobody pulling no bro my own, no, bro. There might be the people at the, at the front. So, you know what I'm saying? We got our stuff up in there. So, we like, oh, shit, D. The police, the police. So, I'm like, oh, shit, what should we do? What should we do? I'm panicking and shit because I be so paranoid. I'm panicking. My partner, he was like, hold up, bro, hold up, bro, hold up. My let me go see who it is. Let me go see. <laughs> so, he goes to the door. He looked through the, he looked through the side, through the little, through the, through the uh, little blinds, like on the hotel one day. He looked through the little blind. He don't see nothing but ass. I said, I, he was like, bro, it's a chick. I, said, I told you, dog. I told you, bro. It's that chick. He was like, bro, I don't know, bro. She think it's hell, though. Why she knocking on my door, bitch, bro? Because that's what he be calling. He was like, bitch, bro. He like, man, why she knocking on my door, bitch, bro? I'm like, bro, I don't know, bro. Over the door, over the door. So, boom, bro, my nigga, over the door, clack. She come in. My partner, <laughs> she come in. She like, hey. I, I, this is real story, man. Y'all might think I'm playing. I swear to God, man. You know what I'm saying? I can get my partner to come on the video and vouch, man. It real talk. <laughs> so anyway, boo. So she, my my partner opened the door. That man holler out. I mean, she holler out. Hey, um, my restroom not working in my uh room. I was wondering, can I use y'all? I promise, man. man I, my nigga look back at me. I'm looking at him like, what? 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 She like, can you use the restroom? My partner like, yeah, come on, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there looking like a fool. I got the game in my hand. I'm like, hey, I sure they think it is. I'm still like, hey, what's up? What's up? You was over there on that balcony, was it? She was like, yeah. So she go in the restroom. She in the restroom with me and my nigga, we out hard like this. We like, damn, bro, we should have our restroom, but we, but we try to whisper. We like, bro, what the fuck, bro, what's going on, bro? We just talking, we don't know what, we like, damn, I don't know what's going on. So, boom, couple of seconds, we come about a minute later with her, she come at the bathroom, boom. She come at the bathroom, thick of head, thick of head, you know what I'm saying? She had some little, little, little booty, little, little, like she had some jogging pants and she cut them just extra short, booty cheek hanging out. She had them type of shorts on, little flip flop, little, Little shirt or whatever, little, you know what I'm saying? The little thing with the little string right there. So, she come out the red room. I'm still sitting there playing the game. She walked past me. I'm looking. Damn. She get to the door. She get to the door. My, my partner grabbed the door. He opened it, so he click it. Finna open it. She push it closed. My partner like, he, he, he looking like, what? Push that jet cloud. She holler at me. She said, hey, here, get my phone. I said, hold on, what you talking about? She was like, I'm finna do something to him. I said, what you mean? She was like, he cute. I was like, what? She said, here, just get my phone. I'm so paranoid. You know, and I'm like, bro, I don't know, bro. He was like, bro, just get the phone. Get the phone. So I get the phone. It's on camera. My, she pushed my nigga to the door. Boom, pull that mine out. 
You just got to eat. I was like, damn. I got the phone like this. You know what I'm saying? I got the phone like this, like, oh shit. It happened out the blue, man. It happened out the blue, no homo. This shit happened out the blue, man. The bird was like this. I'm like, I'm looking. Everybody head over there. I'm like, damn, I'm just recording. Everybody, I'm talking about, she going ham. She going ham, bruh. And this is very vulgar and very nasty, so this is not for kids. Don't have your kids around me listening to this video. But, so, boom, everybody over there like, yeah, 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 yeah. She just going retarded, you feel me? She retarded down there. And I'm just holding the phone. <laughs> I'm just holding the phone. I done lost in the game and everything. I'm going to go over to the table. Game over. And I'm just like, did. I could, I'm like, damn, she a slut. So, boom, next thing you know, my partner didn't grab the head. He, oh, 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 oh. So, you know what I'm saying? She just get up. She, I promise, bro, that's exactly what she did. She, she said, get him the phone. I get him the phone. She grabbed me, throw me up on a dresser. I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, oh, Lord. She just, I was like, damn. What can I do, y'all? I know it's gross. I know it's, I know, but what can I do? What can, and she was thinking it's bad. With the little hazel eye, look, my, what? My, I'm just, she done threw me on a dresser. I'm all on the dresser about to fall. She, she just, rum, 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 yum, cookie monster my head real quick. I'm on it, mom. I bullshit you not, no lie. No lie, I was straight like this. Oh, next thing you know, I hit her with the, oh, grab the two. My next thing you know, she come up. All right, thank you. My, my nigga had the phone. He about to give her the phone. I'm so paranoid, y'all. I grabbed the phone. My hell no, man. Why you do that? Why you come over here like that? She was like, what you mean? I got the phone. I was like, hell no, bro. Go lock the door. Go lock the door. <laughs> He go over there and lock the door. He like, hold on, E, hold on, E, cut down. <laughs> cut down, cut down. I'm like, no, bro. She police, bro. She police. Why she do this, bro? We finna go to jail, bro. She was like, I don't want no money. I don't want no money. Y'all cute. I'm like, hell no, this my phone. BD, my phone. I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm about to like, hey, cut down. I'm like, hell no, bro. No. So we going out, going back and forth, back and forth. And then, uh, I, I gave her, what the heck, ended up giving her the phone back. I gave her the phone back. My partner was like, uh, uh, I gave her the phone. She was like, okay, because she was all the crying and whining and shit. So I'm like, her might be, get out. I'm mad. I'm like, Man, get out my bed. And I see this shit. No, I'm mad. I'm mad. I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So she leave. I'm in the wrong place. And like, bro, bro, she just gave her some amazing head, bro. Why she do this? My partner, he happy. He like, we roll. No, we roll. Where she come from? We roll. We need to go hit that bitch. I'm like, bro, bye, bro. I'm finna go, bro. This shit for police in the car. He was like, all right, bro. This shit is hard, bro. Let go, let go, let go. So, bro, we end up dipping. We ain't come back to the hotel. I'm talking about, we left, man. We ain't come back till that morning because we went to bill. Man, we ain't come back, man. We was so scared we came back, though. We had drunk some old, got up even higher level. So by the time we come back, we looking for her. We <laughs> we outside the hotel, the hotel like some junkies. We just, damn, where she at? Where, where the head must be? God damn. We ain't never seen her again in our life, man. Huh? This shit was a 30 minute, like, that whole little episode, that was so mine. I ain't, that right there ain't never happened to me before. Like, when this shit everybody promised, like, me and my partner talk about it to the day. We be like, dang. My, you remember when that girl had these We be like, yeah, that ain't never happened before. A lot of people don't be believing us. Because, you know what I'm saying? I forgot what type of phone I had at that time. But, man, we went, you know what I'm saying? We went big on recording stuff. Shit like that. I think Cat Stacks was exposing Soldier Boy at that time. So, you know, people weren't really doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We came to the conclusion that she, she was... A uh, new prostitute, you feel me? And she had to show her pimp that she was about that life. So he was like, go suck them niggas dick. And she went and did it, had to show that nigga the proof. 
You know what I'm saying? Pardon, pardon all this uh, profanity in this video, but like I said, it's not for kids, so it is what it is. But that's what that's the conclusion we came to. She was a new prostitute, and and, and the nigga wanted to make sure she was about their life, so she had to show. You feel me? When about the money? Cause the money gonna come, but she he gotta make sure that she'll be able to do something like that because it takes gut to meet somebody you don't know and let them burn your head up like that. I'm talking about man, I grabbed her head, you know what I'm saying? You know how I be? So, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy, but you know what I'm saying? I'm grateful for it. I ain't getting no STD behind it or anything. I'm clean. That was a long time ago. You feel me? Didn't I happen off of it? You feel me? So that was a blessing. And man, I'm grateful for the experience because I mean, it was, I ain't never had, that. Was, it was crazy. And it's a blessing that didn't nothing happen and didn't nothing conspire or what would perspire from it. You feel me? Or whatever it is. You feel me? I'm just glad didn't nothing like that pop off. So, you know what I mean? I'm still here to give y'all the story. So if y'all like this story, man, me and my partner got some free head. Make sure y'all hit that like button like this. Ah, ah. You feel me? Hit it as hard as possible and then share it to all of your friends. Let them know my egg going crazy on the video. This is the egg period show and I'm going to keep videos every single week until YouTube go down, which is never. Peace.